all right guys so in this video we'll be gonna discuss random data distribution in numpy library within a uh, rand function a rand module okay so this is numpy tutorial number 17 and we have discovered a lot of things about numpy in the previous couple of videos so let me show you the playlist that we have covered by now from starting to advance and we'll be covering a lot of things in future so if you haven't accessed this playlist access it and watch all the videos from the beginning now let's discuss our agenda today agenda so in this video we'll discuss data distribution now what does it mean so data distribution is a list of all possible values and how often each value occurs within array so actually we are dealing with probability in this numpy tutorial such lists are important when working with statistics and data science whenever we work on statistics data or data science within numpy array then such kind of data distribution using choice function will be very handy so for that we'll be using a random module of numpy and it will return randomly generated data distribution and we will see now let's discuss before uh discussing data distribution in numpy that what is random distribution what is probability density function or what is choice method so if you have some knowledge about statistics then you must be familiar that a random distribution is a random distribution or you can say a random distribution is a set of random numbers that follow a certain probability density function the random distribution is nothing but they are random numbers that will be generated random numbers and all these random numbers are data distribution with certain probability density function now what is probability density function a function that describes a continuous probability within statistic we have two things uh, one is continuous and the other is uh, you can say the other is um, variable type okay or quantitative you can say or you can say discrete so one is discrete and other is continuous so when you work on continuous probability then you will use this probability density function and this is nothing but it is the probability of all values in an array so we can generate random numbers based on defined probabilities using the choice method of the random module and we have discussed the choice method in the previous video so let's give it an overview it is nothing but it allows us to specify the probability for each value so let's uh, check the example now it says that generate a 1d array containing 100 values where each value has to be 3 5 7 9 so you have to create this array within 100 values now for each value there will be a probability so the probability for the value 3 will be set to 0 0.1 and for, for 5 will be set to 0 0.3 and for 7 will be set to 0 0.6 and for 9 will be 0 so let's discuss it so what i will do first thing first let import a random module from numpy so from numpy import random okay now after that i will create an array uh, with the help of np dot choice function okay so within this first thing first is the question say that generate an array 3 what was the element it said that 3 5 7 9 so 3 5 7 9 okay this should be 9 now after comma it say that what is the probability for each number so we will be using here an argument by the name of p you can't use here other name you have to use p and I will explain you why we are using P. So within this P, you have to specify the probability for each this array value. So for 3, what was the probability? Uh, right here 0 0.1. So 0 0.1, let me run this cell. I will simply copy this, control C, and I will paste it right here. Or let me type manually. So for 3 will be for 5 will be 0 0.3. And for 7 0 0.6 and for 9 will be 0 0.0 or just 0 okay now close it and what are the values 
it says that generate a Wendy array containing 100 values. So we'll have to use here size. And within the size, we have to specify 100 values. So let's run this. And it will give you an error. I think we have made a mistake. It says module numpy has no attribute choice. Okay. We made a mistake. Okay, here should be random because this is choice and choice is a function this within this random module so this time it won't throw an error and run it so this time spelling mistake run it again now this time it says cannot assign to literal so i made okay that was my mistake i do always mistake so let me remove this and let's generate so I should have to generate this again. Let me remove everything. Error. Okay, not here. Error. Uh, let's do that again. No problem. So random dot just tab. And after that, first thing first, generate array of three, uh, six, seven, seven, and nine. Then probability for each will be 0 0.1 and for 5 0 0.3 and for 7 0 0.6 and for 9 0, 0 0.0 okay and the size will be 100 okay so if i run it it will generate me 100 values from this array element that is three six seven nine so first time it generated this seven again six again seven and then again three times six again two times seven up to so on but but um, here as you can see there is no nine there is no nine because we have set probability for nine zero point zero so whenever you set probability for an element element zero point zero point zero then it will not generate that number as a randomly so you can randomly generate data from array using its probability density function with this that specified uh, specified size okay now we will implement the same example but but this time for 2d array so what i will do i will copy this okay i will copy all this from here Control c and let's say paste it right here now what i will do i will make it 2d array just by saying that it should be uh, let's say 3 by 2 can we make it 3 by 2 yes of course we can make it 3 by by 2 because we have here four elements and we can generate here um, an array of 3 by 2 it's mean 2d array so here you can see we have generated at first in first row at index 0 7 and at index 1 6 but there in the second row we have generated two times six again three and seven so it has randomly generated number from this to the array now this this is not a 1d array because we have specified within size three by two so this time it will consider to the array so again here there is no nine because we have set 0, 0.0 probability for nine so that was all about data distribution in numpy and we'll be implementing it in real world project at the end of this numpy tutorial so if you like this video then subscribe coding world and i'll be seeing you in the next video